Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to talk about how to import CSV file into MySQL Workbench. So first we will un understand what is a CSV file. So CSV stands for comma separated values. So these files are very common that you will find on internet. Like uh, when you are searching for any data sets, on Kaggle or any other platform then you will see that the most of the files are in the format of CSV so it is very good to know that how to import these files into my SQL workbench okay let's see the first method in which we will be using the my SQL workbench GUI so to import a CSV file first you need to select a database so here uh, we have selected our test database inside that you have to now select on tables and then right click and after that you will select the table data import wizard so here is the table data import wizard after that you have to click on browse and now you will have to select your csv file so if we see this this is a, a small csv files of uh, size 77 bytes so this method will be very uh, good to import uh, because this is a very a small file okay this is not efficient in importing a big file i will show you uh, show you why this is not efficient in importing that big file okay so if i uh, i have to now click on this file and now open this okay now you have to click on next then you have to choose uh, these two options create new table or use existing table so i will choose the create new table because i have not created any table for that and my table name will be emp okay next we have we have to choose the next button okay here next and then you have uh, to choose the option uh, what is the uh, field type or the data type of each columns okay so the, our first column is of type text and second column is of type integer you can change the type according to uh, your requirement okay so now uh, we we will not change anything and now again click, click next and after that click next and you can see that finished performing task and if i again click next and now finish so now if i refresh here you can see that emp table is imported in our data set and if i click here you can see that these all data are in our data set now you can perform any query on these data sets okay but if we if we import big file using this method so what will happen now again we are importing files and this time a ola.csv which is of size 771kb and it has around 5000 records and in this only certain 10 or 20 records were so if i import this file you can see that this will take very much time i will have to click next next and uh, let's remain uh, do not change anything and click next and if i next you can see that it will take very much time okay and if i so you logs so it is importing one by one row that's why it is taking very much time okay so this will take uh, too much time i will wait for that so it takes approx 2 minutes of time to import those 5000 records okay and let's see if this so you can see that 4000 
967 records imported successfully okay so you can see that uh, this is taking too much time to import uh, this amount of data so if uh, let's say if you have a lakh or crore number of rows then it will take hours of time to import the data into the table so moving to the second method we will learn how to import the big files in mysql using these steps so we will perform uh, this method in four steps so first we will have to write this query so if we run this query this will give the location of the folder in which you have to copy that big csv file okay so here we get uh, the folder location of this so copy this field and after that you have to go to after that go to that folder okay so we landed here and i had earlier copy uh, this csv file here so first i will show you i will delete this try again okay so i will copy and do paste in this folder okay so i pasted this file here and uh, you can see that this is a very big file of 30 mb and it contains around 6 lakh 70 thousand number of rows okay so this is a very big file and if you do this using gui method this will take very much time okay if you see that this is containing 6 lakh 78 thousand and some records okay so now we will perform uh, our step one and step two is done copy your csv file to this location now in a step three we will create table so we will create table using by passing this these column names and their data types okay so we had earlier also talked in our uh, sql playlist how to create table so if you don't know go and watch that video so this is the command to create table so we will run this so now our table creation part is done so in the next step we will do load data in file and we will pass the file path uh, where our csv file is kept into table and after that we will give the table name so our table name is auto insurance risk uh, if i refresh here you can see that auto insurance risk table is created okay and after that we will pass fields terminated by comma so this is because fields terminated by comma means in every csv file your each fields are terminated by comma and after that you will give lines terminated by backslash n so each line is terminated by back, backslash n and here we will pass ignore one lines okay because uh, our header is also in the table so we will ignore that uh, one line now if we run this query here also what we have seen in the notepad it is exactly same load data in file after that i have passed the uh, file path uh, so you have to also pass the uh, pass the file path in this format only after that into table then i have given the uh, table name after that fields terminated by comma lines terminated by backslash n and ignore one lines and if i run this query you can see that this query is running and it will import all the rows very quickly so let's see how much time this will take so it is taking a lit little bit time no but not much time uh, it, it does import in only 16 seconds and you had seen that 
to import only 5000 records so we had to wait for around 2 minutes uh, in the previous example so you can now learn that how to import these big csv files in very short amount of time so hope you have understand how to do this for a smaller file and for bigger files so hope you have understand this video thank you for watching bye bye